Hi guys, Multiplexing Gamer here, coming at you with a new tutorial on coordinate geometry for the use of a worked example. This example question, which I'll provide a work full solution for, was taken from the CGP C1 guide, page 93. If you're unsure of anything, please comment below. I'm providing worked examples as there are plenty tutorials out there, so I'll be working on the understanding of coordinate geometry in the XY plane. So the question reads the line PQ has the equation 4x plus 3y equals 15. It asks us to find the gradient of PQ. And part B asks us the point R lies off PQ and has the coordinates 3, 1. Find the equation of the line which passes through point R and is perpendicular to PQ, giving your answer in the form y equals mx plus c. So to get the gradient for the first part, I'm just going to do this in the first slide, and we're just going to write down the equation here, 4x plus 3y equals 15. So firstly we're going to rearrange it to get it into this y equals mx plus c form. So that gives us 3y equals minus 4x plus 15. This is minus because we've taken it to that side, so we've taken 4 off, and then we've got 15 because we've just left it there. Now we want 1y because it's y equals mx plus c, y being 1, therefore we divide it by 3. So minus 4 over 3, leave it as a fraction, x, plus 15 divided by 3. Therefore we can learn that our gradient is minus 4 over 3, because the number before x is always the gradient. So if this was 5x, the gradient would be 5, if it was 6x, the gradient would be 6. So the gradient for this answer is minus 4 over 3. Part 2. So from part A, we know that the gradient is minus 4 over 3 at point R. And we want to know the new gradient, which is perpendicular to this. Therefore, we divide it by minus 1 to find the new gradient. So to get the new gradient, we're going to divide minus 1 by the old gradient, which gives us an answer of 3 over 4. So we substitute our values into this formula here to find the equation. m being 3 over 4, y being 1, as it was stated in the question, and x1 being 3, as it was also stated in the question. Because if we go back, we've got the coordinates 3, 1, 3 being x and y being 1. So we substitute our values in here, and then we multiply out the brackets to get this answer here. We want to bring this one over to this side because it asks for the equation in the form y equals mx plus c. So we don't want any integers on this side. So it's y equals 3 over 4x minus 5 over 4. If you find this tutorial helpful, please comment below and like my videos. If you're, if you're stuck on anything, please feel free to comment and I'll s soon get in touch. Thank you for listening.